Yo, 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 welcome back to another video. My name is Robertini the Source, and I'm a music producer who also happens to like anime and games. And guess what? We're back with another reaction for One Piece. I'm very excited. I can't wait to show this to you guys as we're going to episode 739 all the way to 742. So, before we begin, the way that I do this is I show you guys just a part of my reaction, not all of the episodes, but then at the end of the reaction, I'm going to pick a scene from those batches of episodes and we're gonna talk about the music. Most likely what's coming and I can feel it. I don't know if I'm gonna do it yet, but you will find out, but I'll probably be analyzing the Kaido entrance. These episodes were really, really good, so I can't wait for you guys to see it. And if you like this content, and if you like what you've seen on the channel so far, definitely hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you know when I drop a video every week. Also, if you want access to more of the actual reactions, you can head on over to Patreon and you can also get, get exclusive music production and all of the links are in the description below. Very excited, can't wait to get into it. So I hope that you guys enjoy. Once again, I just don't, I don't mind any of this. You better take that drink, boy. Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> no, there's no dying, no drink. Y'all deserve it. Yeah, that's right, because he has to hide out. He has to hide out. Man. I'm going to pause this real quick, though. I don't want to ruin the moment, but... One of the things that I really appreciate about this arc, actually, is the fact that, unlike the other arcs, the other arcs, they were very satisfying the way they ended. But for some strange reason, I guess maybe it's because of the length of this, the ending to this arc right now, or at least the, the closure to Dressrosa as we get closer. I don't know when they're leaving, but it just feels so satisfying. Like, I'm not even mad that we're still here. It's just funny that we're still here, but it's like, dang, all of this, you know, flashback and just storytelling about the past and about Sabo and all this other stuff has been phenomenal. I love it. It just, it makes you realize how significant Dressrosa was to the story and in, in terms of overall everything once again. So that's just a thought. It really feels like a surreal ending to something that we've been looking forward to. It's just an interesting way of, uh, it's an interesting approach. Twirly hat crew? Oh, we're finally gonna see! Yes! Oh my god, I've been waiting for this! It's been over a hundred episodes. <laughs> wow, I forgot Big Mom's after them! Oh no! Oh! That's, I, you know, I completely forgot. I knew they were heading there, but I, like, are they on the island now? Oh, yeah, he has the heart. I forgot about the heart. Oh, yeah. Wow, it's already bringing back memories. Chopper! Save them. Who is them? Oh, don't tell me Nami got caught or something. <laughs> they never change. It's good to see Nami again. And Brooke! Ah! <laughs> Watch out, I gotta save myself. <laughs> this must be Zoe then, I guess. Oh, it must be Nami's navigation skills to get to this place. <laughs> there we go, that's his name, Momonosuke. Wow. Oh boy, more trouble. The crew can never not get into trouble, can they not, huh? Who is this guy? Uh oh. When in doubt. Oh, gosh. Oh, wow. What a way to... 
<laughs> that was that was nice. I'm not gonna lie. What a way to get us. <laughs> I know Brooke had trained a little bit. Come on. All right, Sanji with the Diablo moves. Mm. Nothing like a good old Sanji entrance, right? <laughs> I'm just happy I see everybody again. <laughs> It's been a minute since we've seen that. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Sanji never changes. Oh, they're looking for a samurai. Hmm. Yeah, what girl is this? Oh. So Zelf seems like it's like an animal kind of island. That's what it looks like. Oh boy. Captain Kid again. Man, seems like there's a lot going on, and I forgot that Captain Kid has his own little alliance. Oh man! Oh, what is that? Sky Island? A few minutes ago. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So they come from a Sky Island. Oh, the uh, interesting. Yo, I love the fact that there's so many different kinds of islands. Oh, maybe this guy. Oh, okay, maybe it's this guy. He had been defeated seven times as a pirate. Eighteen times. Living as a criminal. Oh. Why would you want to kill yourself? He challenged the Navy in the four enemies and was captured 18 times and sentenced to death 14 times. Wow. He couldn't. Wow. Wow. Nobody can kill him? Wait a second. Oh my god. Hold on. Am I thinking who it could be now? Sir, why would he. That is interesting. Who is. That. What? Whoa, this guy's huge! Oh my god! This, whoa! This guy? What? This guy's huge! Wow, this guy looks so tough! This is Kaido? This is Kaido? And he's trying to kill himself? Oh! And he's an emperor, isn't he? Oh, they're so bad! <laughs> oh... The strongest creature in the world? Make preparations for the final battle. What? Oh... My god... This guy looks legit! That's Kaido? Oh man... No way! No way. I didn't think Kaido was gonna look like this. Bruh. Okay, so we got Big Mom, who she looks creepy in her own right. Shanks is the coolest looking emperor for, by far. Blackbeard. Ugh. I hate Blackbeard. This guy's humongous. Wow. That's what Kaido looks like. That is crazy. Yo, I'm loving this board more as you watch. But what? You know, let let me just take a second to breathe, because I'm so excited. The craziest thing about this is I really enjoyed that intro. We learned a lot about him in that short amount of time. You know what's so crazy? This is why I freaking love One Piece, right? Character depth. They introduced depth of this character right away. What is so cool about this is the fact that he wants to kill himself? So, okay. Kaido apparently is this intimidating figure. Clearly, this guy's humongous. This dude, wow, like look at him. He has all the scars on him. Huge, monstrous looking creature. But he wants to kill himself. Why? He hates this world. He's been caught. He's been sentenced to death. Nobody could kill him. Wow. 
this is so interesting now. Because with all that information provided for Kaido, now he has character depth. That is so tough. Wow, so he's not your typical just bad guy. He already has some history behind him. And we get to get a little taste of it. I want to know his backstory. We already know how One Piece is with backstory. So I hope that we definitely get a full backstory. But I am loving the fact that they kind of were talking about how Kaido wants to kill him. That just make, changes his whole idea of what his character is all about already for me. I'm excited for this. But that's what he looks like, yo. This guy's humongous. They have to take him down? Now, Doflamingo was insane. Doflamingo was insane. I have no idea how powerful Kaido can be. I don't know the depth of his power. This guy wants to start the greatest war of all time. Oh my god. Or the greatest war the, war the world has ever known. Or that's what he's talking about. I don't know how he's going to do that. Because the Marine 4 war was pretty massive. So you mean to tell me that we might have to, we might get another war? Is that, is that what this foreshadowing is about? Whatever that is, y'all, that's exciting. I'm so, I cannot wait to see more about Kaido. Oh man, if, if there's a lot more depth to this villain, he might, oh, he might be another great anime villain. I'm excited. This is interesting. I did not expect that. But moving forward, I also, of course, want to talk about Nami, Sanji, Chopper, Brook. They're on their own little thing. They made it to Zoe, it looks like. That's the island. We got a little taste of what the island looks like. Looks like it's an island with a lot of animal uh a lot of animals. It looks like humans who are half animals, half human. I don't know. That's what it looks like. I could be wrong. There's this girl that they found, so that's gonna be interesting. So I can't wait to see how things play out. I'm just finally glad we get to see them, man. This whole Dress Rosa arc, they were late. We had no idea what was going on. At least we get an idea. So they're already there. That's good. I'm happy. So I'm hoping that the crew gets an opportunity to catch up to them. I'm going to assume that Zoe's the next island that they got to get to. Because I don't think they're just going to leave them behind, right? So it's going to be really interesting. But man, that's what Kaido looks like. Oh, so that was Sengoku. Okay, here I'm going to pause y'all. Um, just to let everybody know, um, I'm watching this episode because I didn't realize I accidentally skipped an episode ahead. Um, that was completely my fault. I ended up watching 741 before I watched episode 740. So with that being said, I decided to come back and just do a quick little reaction for you guys. But, um, you know, it's funny that I noticed because I remember the... Or maybe the... Or no, no, actually that... Yeah, yeah, yeah. 741, I think. That's where I was like, who is Sengoku, right? So that makes sense. Either that or maybe I said in 739. I don't remember. But long story short, I did watch episode 741 before I watched 740. I don't know how I got that mixed up, but I'm just going to watch for you. Uh, just to watch this one for you guys, so at least you can see my reaction. But hopefully, uh, if I say stuff, it's because I already know what's happening based on what on the episode afterwards, so I apologize for that, but let's just watch anyway. Hmm. See, this is why I like Fujiota a lot. I love Fujiota and what he's doing. <laughs> he's got gray hair! <laughs> this guy aged so much in two years. <laughs> wow. That's a shocker. Yeah, that is technically true. But at the same time, I wish they would respect Luffy. Ah, all right. Let me pause this once again. After watching 741, this makes so much more sense now. Because I was also wondering, I was like, where'd the letter and everything come from? Wow. That's cool. The rebuilding of the country. It's going to be an interesting time. Like I said before, I wonder if it's going to have Alabasta vibes, right? Uh, Vivi was a princess, and I, and Rebecca is kind of the same situation. And, this, and the fact that she's going to be technically be a princess. Wait. 
Oh, I was gonna say, I was like, why is the birdcage still up? Oh, jeez. <laughs> For a second, I was gonna say, I thought the birdcage was still gonna be up. That's definitely foreshadowing. Yo, I think that Rebecca's definitely going to uh, join the crew, man. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Foreshadowing right there. This is the most clothes that Rebecca has had this entire arc. <laughs> <laughs> That's facts. I can only imagine, you know, watching all of this and kind of going back through their experience. You know, as a father who has turned to a toy, knowing that your daughter doesn't even know who you are, trying to teach her everything. That, that's, that, that definitely, that hurts. I can only imagine. Oh, and just like that, just healed in two seconds. <laughs> Imagine if we had something like that in real life, yo. You would be a multi, multi, multi trillionaire. I mean, they're in the air. How they're not gonna get noticed? <laughs> Once again, I I'm very impressed by the way that th this arc has been ending so far. You this is really nice, like all of this. Wow. <laughs> I'm very surprised the government is even going to try to like take her. Once again, the government could use her. But then, I guess we won't really know until we know. Because we don't know what their intentions are right now. It's been two years. Wow. So Fujiyoro treats this. Wow. So that's what Fujiyoro is doing. Well, Luffy's getting that nice rest. <laughs> yeah, I heard it with my own ears too. I wish my ears can grow in this second. Wow, look at Bellamy. Law. My favorite character, Robin. <laughs> Ah, okay. So that's how this started. I'm going to pause once again, y'all. As a reminder, I accidentally went an episode ahead. So I'm rewatching. I'm going back so I didn't, uh, so I could make sure that I understand what was happening from the, this episode. But I did watch 741 already. No. Wow. Dang. That's that's tough, man. I would not do that though. I can't do that. All these years, as as all the pain and suffering that they've been through, being with it, we, being with his daughter, I think is more important than leaving her. <laughs> They're all here. <laughs> exactly. So I was like, all right, buddy. But you know what? I'm going to wait to the end, actually. I feel like it's about to end soon. Yeah, because I know this was the next episode. Done, 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 done. Up, oh, time for them to go. What a dramatic... <laughs> what a dramatic way. All right, y'all. Um, as I wanted to repeat one more time, I saw 741 before 740. That was a complete accident. I don't know how I skipped an episode, but um, it was interesting because obviously this episode gives insight now. Um, Sengoku's there, Tsuri's there, Navy's there, Fuji Oda was playing this game. And what I wanted to say was now it actually does make sense. I think what he was doing was stalling time, giving the Straw Hat crew an opportunity to recover so that they can escape. I think that's why he played this game. Um, that's why he decided to roll the dice because it's like, hmm. We could capture them fairly, or we I mean, because Fujiroda kind of... I don't know what Fujiroda's going to do. Dang. They don't have the ship. They don't have the Sunny. That's right. Bartolomeo. I forgot, you know, everyone's still there. Is Bellamy joining coming too? 
Oh, what if Bellamy joined the crew? That would be crazy. <laughs> Word, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, just use the barrier and call it a day. And what's so interesting is as powerful as these people are, they still have to do it the old-fashioned way. It's not like they can fly. Mmm, eating the bone too. <laughs> this guy just ate the bone, he was like, nope. I love this. Oh, it feels good. Yeah, this is gonna be nice. Oh, it's just definitely the alabaster vibes right here. I don't think he's they're gonna do it similar. Obviously, you don't want it to be exactly alike, but <laughs> oh, come on, <laughs> come on, Usopp. Yeah, I know you trained. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> I love the sweat. Uh, so my question is, who's gonna join them too? Man, I'm telling you. I would love for at, like at least I I can think of three of or four of these characters that could join the crew. At least I hope one of them does. Come on, there's so much effort. That's nice, man. How about that? They're all fighting each other for a devil fruit, and now they're all working together. Ah, there's Luffy. What's Luffy about to do? Gum gum fireworks. Oh! I don't think we've seen that move before. It's like a Gatling on steroids. Dang, this guy's using gear 3 already. And now we know he has a gear 4. Mm. Oh yeah, same situation. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, he's gonna come right to her. <laughs> you knew that was coming. Oh, be careful. Please to have her join the crew, man. That would be tough. Oh gosh. <laughs> uh, just... Oh my god. The, yes. Is this the is this the low key recruitment? Let's go. <laughs> Yo, this is great. Yo, Luffy is the MV. P. Luffy is the MVP and he's doing something that he's technically- Oh my god. <laughs> he's kidnapping a princess. <laughs> oh, technically he's kidnapping a princess. But is he just taking her to um... Oh, they're gonna make it seem like he's... Yeah, they're not gonna understand. He's just trying to do the right thing. That's why Luffy's so admirable. And this is the interesting oxymoron, I guess, of like the whole pirate thing here. After everything Luffy did, it's not gonna matter. Is Luffy taking her with him? Yo. I know that he wrote the letter, but I thought it was something different, to be honest with you. Man. Yep, I'm telling y'all right now, that's that's the that's the that's the couple of this uh oh it's over. Of course. Of course. No. Uh yeah, that's the uh that's the couple of um of the the anime here right here. <laughs> it's like nah. But that would be pretty cool. There there wasn't really any sort of interest like that in this, which is fine. You know, obviously Sanji's obsessed with all the women. And I don't expect Luffy to have no sort of love interest, but I'll actually be a nice. All right. Let's do this. <laughs> uh, that's right. And now the people think that he's uh, a typical pirate again. That's just how it works. 
Oh, the sea prism stone. Yeah. Now, if he gets caught with that, then yeah. Ah. Uh, yep. What I love about Luffy does not care. He just does things for the good of the uh, the people. Dang, he's able to do Gatling with her with her on his back. Hmm. Nice. <laughs> She's having the time of her life. <laughs> this has to be one of the best stories for the characters in One Piece. Obviously, there's some great other backstories, but this one right here, at least the resolve of it. Like, when they reunite, if they reunite, for real, for real, I mean, they've reunited, but y'all know what I mean. That's gonna be something. That's gonna be definitely something to watch. It is going to be emotional, most likely. Yeah. Ugh. Tough. Tough. This is just sad. Like, this... Ugh. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> Ah, this is a moment. This is a moment. The crazy... I'm just going to pause this real quick. The craziest thing is that if he actually trained her and she complied to listen about her fighting skills, she would be such a badass. For real. It would be so tough. A hundred percent. Alright, let's get back to it. But yeah. That would have been so awesome. Seriously. Nah, but Kiros deserves everything too, man. It's not, It wasn't his fault. It really wasn't. There's was nothing he could do. When you get turned to a toy, there's nothing you could do. Dang. Dang. Ah... <laughs> uh... Ah, uh, that was nice. Woo! Almost got me there, but I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. But that's what I was saying before, y'all. Um, it this this was such a nice moment. Like it's what I'm gonna pause one more time and I'm gonna repeat this. Um, but this is what I was saying before. It's like. This arc was so long. We saw everything that went went down. So this ending is just more satisfying because of that. And uh, seeing that that reunion between father and daughter is uh, there's nothing like it. I, I don't. It doesn't matter. Like that. Like father and daughter relationship is always one of the most important things in in life in general. So once again, Echiro Oda, kudos to this beautiful story. What do you mean they can't be held back? Oh, because Fujiroda's there, that's why. I was gonna say. They should be able to handle the, the Navy, at least. I'm, I'm also curious to know what the- I mean, what's Luffy's bounty right now? 500 million or something, right? There's no way. Oh! What? They're about to protect- the crew? Okay. Wow. <laughs> That's great. That is great. Yo, that is so funny. Yo, I love how everybody's really trying to protect the crew right now. That's so sick. Oh, I see. That is funny. That is funny. <laughs> paralyzed that's great they paralyzed him because that is great <laughs> oh now they're gonna find out <laughs> I love the transponder snail 
Wow. Wow, they're protecting the crew right now? Alright, but Fujiyoto's about to just... Rice crackers? <laughs> oh, Lon Sengoku, what's going on here? Oh, that's right! That's right! I forgot about this part. I forgot that Corazon was technically working for the government. Technically. So they were, yeah, I remember this because they were low key trying to capture them for a while. Low key. I mean, obviously, we know, we know what happened. Ah, man. Wow. Wow. Interesting. I'm I was wondering, I was like, what is Law doing? So I guess he, he's having a conversation with Sengoku. I wonder where this is going to go. Because Law is definitely not going to be a warlord no more. That's another thing, too. With all of this, there's no way. He's clearly going to be a former warlord of the sea now. Man, what an episode, though. This was really nice. I'm, I'm man, once again, I, I love where this is going. I love the emotion of everything. I love this post dress Rosa stuff. You know, I, I think it's interesting because even though it's definitely a little break from all the craziness that's been happening obviously like i said before we're learning a lot of great information but we're also seeing the the great writing uh that is in one piece with experiencing the resolve of a lot of these character stories and the highlight for this for me obviously was the reunion with rebecca and kiros which was an amazing moment so shout out to that um and then obviously just now there's obviously a conversation here between um law and sengoku so i wonder where this is going and uh i wonder how that's going to turn out so that's going to be very very interesting as well and in addition the crew's being protected by let being protected by bartolo mayo and the rest of the gang who's uh been here on the island so that's pretty cool man everybody's standing up for each other that's tough i like it so you know we're gonna see what happens and i can't wait to continue watching man this is really great stuff i'm just wondering when we're, they're gonna leave that's real simple all right guys i hope you guys enjoyed that reaction i am so excited for this man one piece has been absolutely so interesting as of late man especially now with at the end of this uh dress rosa arc and of course finally i got to see what kaido looks like and that was pretty awesome so we're gonna obviously dig into this and let's talk about the music man because uh what an entrance one piece to me has one of the, has some of the best entrances in all of anime by the way you could definitely tell me if there's some animes that have some really epic entrances of course but in terms of entrances like introducing characters or the way that they enter a scene like one piece take definitely takes the cake but anyway let's get into it all right so hopefully you guys can hear a little bit i'm hoping so one of the most interesting things about this was obviously the fact that you have the narration of what he what kaido's been going through so i thought that was pretty cool so that already adds to the epicness you already hear stuff going on you hear a jet while he's going down but listen to the music right So you hear it's kind of, I don't know if it's a bongo instrument, but you kind of hear that. But then you also hear like the strings kind of doing some really cool stuff right now in the background. Very, very high pitched. Yeah, it's cool. It's pretty cool. So what's interesting about this is that you, now all of a sudden you start to hear horns. And obviously the strings, like this is a full-on orchestra here. And it sounds like it's about to be really, really epic. Definitely um, a lot of dissonance that I also noticed and I hear. And it makes sense because Kaido is one of the emperors. And I don't know if they're basically saying he's the most dangerous man. But to me, he looks like he's the biggest threat out of all of the emperors. So, see? 
there you can hear a little bit of the dissonance. The da 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 da. You can hear the dissonance. And for those who know, for those of you guys who want to know what dissonance is, basically it's when you have a uh, note like two notes that are playing very close to each other. Because uh, a, in a scale, you'll have notes that don't actually belong in that scale. But sometimes they're if if they're used correctly, they can actually be be used. But that's a whole another thing. But anyway. You know, sometimes like uh, if you have w one note and you have a, a note but plays right above it, those two notes don't technically go together sound-wise, so it sounds off. It's called dissonance, usually. And there you got the horns going crazy. You hear the dissonance again. Same phrases. Same phrases over and over. Pretty, pretty cool. And honestly, what really makes this scene pretty dope, besides the music, is the narration. I thought the narration part was really, really cool. Nice little touch to that. Nice little touch to that. Horns. He's narrating. I love it. And what I also love is the is the the use of the dynamics. You you, you hear the in, the music get louder, and you get hear the music gets softer. You could tell that the composer really wanted to make sure the details were right for this uh, for this particular scene and the way that he composed it, which is really really interesting. You hear a lot of uh, instruments also kind of playing. Um, you know, stopping exactly on a certain count on the phrase, which is also super important because that also indicates aggression. So it's just these little details that's what making this so epic. So now the best part of this is him actually coming out. <laughs> oh man. Very exciting stuff. Very exciting stuff, man. But let, let's get into it. Let's get into it. Now, here you go. You, you hear a bassoon instrument to me. I think it's a bassoon. Start the phrase. You're going to hear a bassoon and then you hear the horns and then everything kind of comes in. Pretty dope. That was really cool. It, it could even be a bass clarinet, but I think it's bassoon. Very cool. The animation on here was also on point. I love this. Now, it's interesting because we know in a lot of cinematic movies, they always have music like this. And this definitely is where narration is very key. You know, what instruments are being used for this particular scene? What kind of, what kind of, um, what kind of um, melodies do you want to use? What kind of phrases do you want to use? And you don't even have to play a melody. It could be something as simple as one note playing the whole time. But what does that note do to give off the whatever mood of the scene that you're trying to pick i think that's the most interesting thing about this or even it could be certain little uh things that are going on you know for example you'll hear a random trumpet play a triplet ra randomly out of nowhere or you'll hear a oboe playing just a random you know eighth note here somewhere just playing different things and it's just like why because it's all building up to this whole epicness and that's another interesting thing and that's what i'm noticing here And now you start to hear the melody start to come to fruition. I love this. Now it gets into the actual melody. And what's going to be pretty cool is you're going to hear the strings doing a nice little eighth note uh, melody here. Really cool eighth note melody here. But then you're going to hear the best part about this is the horns. The dumb, 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 dumb. And that's how you know that Kaido is has arrived it's tough <laughs> you can hear the horn dun 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 da 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 it's pretty cool wow and it's very cool and then of course now you got the horns and everything kind of just you know it's all about the epicness for real i thought it was really cool Now, what I thought was interesting is that now they transition, obviously, into a phrase where you hear the drums. Almost sounds like a march, almost. So you hear the drums, and then you're going to hear these uh, instruments playing very, very staggered uh, triplets going on. 
pretty cool. Da 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 da. Yep. There you go. All the triplets going. Da 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 da. So that's pretty cool. Um, I mean, we are, we know why this is all happening. I don't have to say it multiple times. Look at Kaido. I mean, he just looks like an intimidating creature. He looks like he's going to be a problem. So shout out to the animation as well. Ooh, that's tough, man. And what's also interesting too is that if you really want to get a little bit deeper, the way that they're playing these uh, notes, they're playing playing it in a what's called staccato fashion. So basically, that means that instead of keeping the note, notes nice and long, they're keeping them nice and short. Uh, usually, a, a, a nice short style when it comes to playing those kind of notes gives a more aggressive feeling. So you can either go da 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 da. Right, which is a little bit longer, or you can go da 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 da. So, I know I sound weird doing all these sound effects, but I hope you guys get the point from that. <laughs> and it's a very cool, very cool melody, and it kind of keeps going. You can see the sweat on these characters' uh, faces and bodies because they know who this guy is. He is will probably. I don't know, but he's going to probably be one of the most important villains in the series, I think. I could be wrong, but that's what it feels like. Honestly, I feel like all the emperors are, but I mean, there's been this whole talk about Kaido and everything that's happened, and we finally see him. To me, it seems like he's going to be a very big figure. And notice now, all of a sudden, they're not playing triplets anymore. They completely changed course. Pretty interesting stuff. And I love his I love the way that he just said all of this. The voice actor did a great job. Love this. What's pretty cool is, and just as what I was saying from before, you have now one instrument playing this one long note, of course, a couple instruments playing notes, but it's all leading up to this epicness and declaration of war kaido wants to start the greatest war ever in this series so it's going to be interesting given the fact that we know how massive marine ford was so if there's going to be another war if there's going to be another war this is going to be crazy and i love how they ended that with the to be continued with that um instrument there um some sort of drum so i thought that was pretty cool man and um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed that scene a lot i did do a little bit of looking around on here on youtube and i noticed that a lot of people were also saying the same thing about the epic entrance and how the music was so awesome so i'm glad i got to talk about this i don't want to try to get dig too deep um because one, it is kind of hard to do it on the spot as you're listening, to be honest. But I just love listening to the music, of course. But yeah, y'all. Epic, epic, epic moment. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I cannot wait to drop next week's set of um, reaction episodes as well. So definitely be on the lookout for that, man. Kaido has arrived in great fashion with some really cool music. So I hope you guys enjoyed that one. All right, all right. I hope you guys enjoyed the reaction and the music analysis. I look forward to showing you guys more. So before I head out, of course, once again, if you do like the content, definitely go hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you know when I drop a video every week and hit the like button and put some comments about the anime. It'll be really cool to have some conversations. Of course, I know maybe most of you are already caught up so far. I'm getting there. So we'll see what happens when we get there because as we all know, there is a lot of One Piece left. Very excited. And don't forget, y'all, I am a music producer. So go also go check out the beat on the channel as well. So with that being said, don't let anybody ever tell you who you can or cannot be. My name is Robertini, the source, and I am out. Peace.